Uh, it's a great chapter in Buzz Bissinger's book, Prayer for the City, where it's called The Number, where the PFM guys, working with uh, some of our people, really determined what the number was that we had to, to, to take reduce the budget by. And it was a staggering number. It was more than David uh, contemplated, more than I contemplated, more than the PFM crew contemplated. There was, sometimes I say things for effect, and you know I knew that I was saying it for effect. I didn't totally believe it, but I said we were on the verge of becoming Detroit without the automobiles, meaning we didn't have one anchor industry because we had a twofold problem and that was the, the city's own financial problems near bankruptcy and the fact that jobs were fleeing the city at a record pace. Um, we were losing our manufacturing base. Nobody wanted to stay in Philadelphia. People who could move were moving and businesses who could move were moving. Uh, people heard it over and over again. But I said, we, we were like a patient who comes into the hospital and who has curable cancer, but cancer that if left untreated for long would be fatal, but also had a bullet wound in the chest. And obviously, before you worry about the cancer, you cure the bullet wound of the chest. Well, our financial situation was the bullet wound. And if we didn't stop the bleeding and keep the patient alive, the cancer wouldn't have mattered. It would have been irrelevant. We did that. But then we had to get at the cancer, which was the eroding tax base of the city, the fact that we did have no anchor businesses, the fact that we were losing jobs at a record pace, the fact that the climate for doing business was terrible. And I said, the only thing we had to be careful about is in fixing the bullet wound, we didn't do anything that would exacerbate the cancer. And I think we walked a fine line, but achieved that.